there's like a mystical party called the Nutcracker Ball that we learn about eventually that takes place on Christmas. And it's kind of like a secret, like, party that's supposed to be the best party in the world. And we hear about it. We're always trying to find it. And we can never find it. And it kind of becomes like our white whale on Christmas. And then this year, finally, we get tickets to it. And it's kind of poetic because it's our last year. So we figure, like, you know, we'll go out with a bash. But Ethan's character thinks maybe we'll have so much fun that we'll want to keep doing that and not stop, basically. John definitely uh, is willing to kind of, you know, embark into emotional arenas that me and Evan, it's not our instinct to go in that direction necessarily. Um, you know, he'll go for a lot more romance than we go for traditionally and is and, and, and do it much more earnestly than we generally uh, will do it. And, you know, um, just overall kind of uh, has, you know, more of a, I think, hunger for that uh, type of stuff, which is great and, and something that we appreciate and people really like and we really like. And, and it's exciting when someone else, you know, to work with someone who does something that you don't necessarily do. Well, the character is kind of, Mackie's perfect for it because, you know, the character is kind of a loud, um, you know, guy who likes a lot of attention <laughs> and who is very comfortable being the center of attention and who uh, draws attention and who, um, you know, uh, is very charismatic and, you know, an entertainer as much as an athlete. And, and Mackie really embodies that perfectly. And... Uh, and seemed very comfortable in the role. Um, and and it was funny to watch him. He was really funny. And he knows a lot about sports, and which we don't at all, which was very helpful. I think overall, he could just speak like an athlete, which I could never do. You know, Joe's kind of like the emotional core of the movie, which is perfect for Joe. He's also very funny in the movie, but... Um, you know, he's, he's good at portraying, he has like this kind of in the best way, like a very relatable everyman kind of quality. And that's really what he is in the movie. It's a guy who doesn't quite know what he wants, doesn't quite know what he's doing, is not quite, hasn't quite gotten over this thing that happened to him a long time ago, even though maybe he should have, maybe you could argue that he shouldn't have though, which I think a lot of people have stuff like that in their lives. We hope it's ultimately just like incredibly satisfying in every way, honestly. I mean, that was the design of it. Um, it should be funny and romantic and, um, you know, uh, you know, nostalgic in some ways and maybe even cathartic. I mean, uh, it, I mean, we really wanted it to try to tick, you know, once we realize like, oh, it's a Christmas movie, like we can kind of, again, like step into these realms and indulge in them a little bit more than we normally would. We were like, we can really make it like an unbelievably gratifying uh, cinematic experience.